first step. I'm bopping. Yeah, it's fine. Have a good time. Um, we got Circuit Playground Expresses back in stock. Back in stock. So this is it. Is it's new to you if you've been waiting. Yeah. So we're 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 doing everything we possibly can, and then um, the code tonight was on case, and the reason is is because we've wanted to have something like this for a while, and um, there isn't a USB drive that everyone agrees on that's like, oh, here's the open source one, or here's the one that's low cost, or here's the size, or whatever. So what we decided to do is just find kind of the best one that had the best price and went through our testing process. I, I, I did the test where, you know, I, t I test the speed, and of course yeah. I test the, uh, and so the I test that it's actually two gigabytes. The, <laughs> the idea with this is really low cost, and a standard size that you can kind of embed inside a, like a 3D printed object or make something um, special. It's uncased. That it's uncased. You 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 provide the case. So let's uh, go to the overhead. Okay, so uh, here it is uncased. There's a little indicator LED. This is the control chip, which you can Google to find the part. And then this is of course the flash memory. Um, another thing that this could be useful for is if you're if you're feeling like it, you could uh, hot air this off BJ on a separate flash chip if you wanted to like rescue an existing. Uh, USB key that had like a bad controller. Yeah. It just has a USB A, but the thing about it is it's uncased. You want to 3D print, you want to mold, you want to do something funky. Yeah. Um, this is kind you of. You put a lump of clay on that, let it dry, and now you've got a very low cost gift. Here's a pet rock. <laughs> the no, pet and rock. on the pet rock is, you know, has memory. some files. You can also, of course, remove the SD, uh, the USB connector, and solder it directly. Uh, to your single board computer as like an, you know, it's like two gig of memory, um, just solder right on of, uh, of uh, flash memory. So I thought it would be kind of cool to uh, stock these. I know Pedro will, will do a 3D model as soon as they're um, back from holiday. Uh, we'll probably 3D print some cool um, enclosures for this and yeah. then people can take that model and, and make their own. Yeah, um, there's a bunch of like really neat things that people print out like they're fans of Star Wars. And um, speaking of 3D printed Yoda heads, and you could put like a little slot in it and then just slide this in there. And you could put something on there, like the files that it was uh, printed with, the STL file. You could put um, photos on it and maybe a message to someone and give it as a gift. So I thought this was, this was really neat. And it's, yeah. you know, it's cheap enough where it just doesn't matter. OK, so this is the uncased yeah. two gig drive. Speaking of USB. Speaking of USB, we have a couple of USB cables. Uh, this is a funky one. So we have a 9 volt and a 12 volt boost converter cable that go, runs off of USB. And um, I saw somebody was like, can you get one that has both? And I'm like, yeah, there's one that has both. So this is a nine volt or 12 volt. Um, and it's been a while since I tested this sample, but I think it also displays the current. Let's go to the overhead real fast. Um, right. So it doesn't do data, of course, it just does power. And uh, this shows the voltage, so if I shorted this, it would say zero volts. And I think uh, on the product page, it's like one amp at nine volts and about 750 milliamps at 12 volts. Um, and then you get a standard 5.5 5 .5 millimeter, 2.1 millimeter um, uh, DC jack that you can use uh, to plug into, um, you know, any device with positive tip and uh, negative ring on here. So uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the, the individual 9 or 12, but that's because it's combo. OK. All right, next up. So uh, just before we get to the other group of USB things, because I wanted to separate them out so there was no confusion. Yeah. Um, what about these? OK, so we've already got these, and they look so similar to what we've already got. And you're like, what is this? Why? How is this different than the MyFair tag? Um, this is the NTAG 203. So we've stocked the MyFair Classic tags for a very long time, and um, they're great and everything. Um, but modern phones don't support MyFair Classic because it's an old, slightly less secure um, RFID tag format. And this is NTAG 203, which is also known as like MyFair, not Classic, it's like MyFair Express or something. Um, so these are more secure. They have a longer ID key. They're, uh, they hold 144 bytes of data. Uh, you can still use them for all sorts of RFID purposes, but more phones and tablets are going to support uh, these chips in the MyFair Classics. So we, we carry the MyFair Classics for when people have old technology. But if you have a choice, we recommend uh, the NTAG 203s instead. They're more modern. Uh, they'll be supported for a lot longer. Okay. 
Now, um, there's a bunch of different types, so I just put one picture to, to, to explain what these were. Yeah. So we have four different cables that all look very similar. Yeah. Um, and these are USB PD cables, and they're kind of interesting. So, yeah, let's go just look at this. On one end is a USB-C connector, and the USB-C connector um, will plug into a USB power delivery uh, wall wart. So these are wall warts that, you know, you, you plug into the wall and they have a USB port inside of them. And, you know, if you have like a lap, Mac laptop or a really modern laptop, this will look familiar. And then you plug in the USB-C into the wall adapter, and then there's a little chip inside the cable. It's like really small. And what it does is it tells the adapter, hey, I want you to go into nine volt boost mode or uh, converter mode or 12 volt or 15 volt or 20 volt. And the output will be nine, 12, 15 or 20 volts based on what the PD converter can give you. So let me show you the PD converter so you know what I'm talking about because this is not actually a boost or buck converter. Okay. Okay, so this is, you know, a standard, it's like a laptop charger. It looks very familiar. It's not official Apple, but it's very similar looking. Um, so uh, the travel charger uh, gets, um, you know, basically, you know, 110 or 200 volts in, and then it says output. And you see here it says 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, 12 volts at 3 amps, 15 volts at 3 amps, or 20 volts at 3.25 amps. So this is a, a, a special kind of USB-C converter that can switch what the output is based on what the cable says. So for example, if I plugged in this cable, which says 20 volts, you can kind of see it. It's not very, let me see if I can turn on the light, maybe that'll help. Kind of barely, you can kind of see it. It says 20 volts on it. Um, then when this is plugged into here, this will output 20 volts. However, if this wall adapter doesn't say that it can provide 20 volts, it's not going to work. So you have to make sure that whatever you want on this cable end, you know, 20 volts, or this one says, uh, you know, nine volts, or I have a 12 volt or 15, um, you have to make sure that it appears on this list because this doesn't do any conversion. All it does is like convincing, right? It'll tell, it'll tell the adapter what it wants on the output, but it will not do any power conversion for you. So if it doesn't have nine volt, you'll just get five volts out instead, or, or you might not get anything depending on how the adapter uh, handles PD. So mm -hmm. that said, uh, as long as you're aware of that, it's really handy because instead of having 20 adapters, you have one adapter and then you have a different cable for every product. Yeah. You don't you just you can just swap out the cable based on your needs That's smart. and you'll just get the exact voltage you want. And the output here is 5.5 volts, sorry, 5.5 millimeter outer diameter, 2.5 slash 2.1 inner. And the reason it's 2.5 and 2.1 is the hole is 2.5 but the you can see there's a little spring eclipse. So it works with both 2.5 and 2.1 millimeter. And um, these cables are really chunky. They'll, they'll handle up to five amps of output as they have the eMark chip on them. It's a little bit more expensive, but the eMark means you can uh, charge a laptop. However, just a reminder, because this travel charger doesn't give you five amps, you're not gonna get five amps. It'll max out at three amps. After three amps, you know, it'll not provide any more current. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is not a converter cable, it's a convincer cable. It'll convince the travel charger to do what it already does. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, next up, we have lots and lots and lots of the, the most amazing, beautiful LEDs. Yes. So um, these are in the store. These are unique. Adafruit. And this is from We a may not of have ours. chips, but we do have cats. Yeah. And so um, these are them lit up. Um, we have rainbow ones. And uh, just to give you an idea of how big they are, they are... LED size. They're LED size. So um, they come in different packs. These are made here in the USA. Um, Mark DeVink, who is a friend of the company, is a designer, artist, and more. I worked with Mark at Make Magazine. And we're pleased to support a local artist oh, and pizza. have all of these. And there's lots of different types. Um, okay. I like the Blue Cat. 
This um, blue cat's cool, but let's show the RGB cat first. Yeah, because that, that, that has lots of different things. And the things. succulent's really cool, too. Yeah, the succulent's so kind of a, a, a secret winner. I thought I would just show all these, and then you could do the overhead. Yeah. Um, and so that's the cat, and then we have the succulent. Succulent's really nice, because you can imagine this being used for lots of cool uh, projects, because uh, it could be lots of different, like, I like it's just like, it looks, it looks better than I thought. I was like, wow, yeah. it's just, it really does look And then um, it wouldn't be Adafruit without a skull. Yes. So uh, this is a red skull. And um, these are going pretty fast. But this skull. is what they look like. They're, they're, they're beautiful. And if you want to up your LED game. So let's uh, take a look at them. Okay. So um, this one, I'm just lighting these up with a three-volt coin cell. So this one is the RGB cat. So you see a cat and you see the embedded LED. Note that you don't get RGB LEDs. It's a, one of those, it's called like a flashing light um, LED. So it changes color, uh, you see from like red to green uh, to, to blue. So it slowly uh, goes through all the colors. Um, but it's like, you know, you just see toys and stuff that often have, um, uh, you know, or necklaces or jewelry that have these little LEDs. So uh, it's a way to add rainbow color without any controller. Um, so that's the RGB LED. And then you want to see the blue kitty? Yeah, well, this is what it looks like here. Okay. But then, you know, we like showing real live demos. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have all these really yeah. nice photos we took, but. So this is the blue kitty. It's a nice little kitty. You can see from different sides. So again, I'm just, I'm just lighting up with a coin cell, but you yeah. can see. It's so nice, pet the cat. And then, uh, so it's the blue kitty. And then let me show the red skull. Yeah, and here's also. the photo that we took. And then we'll show you Okay. live. Red skull. You also have the white skulls, so yeah. red skull. Okay, and then finally, last but not least, is the green succulent, which I think is kind of the coolest one. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, it looks, I think it's because it's like, you know, the center is lit up, but then all the little leaves yeah. are glowing. Um, so this is, it, it looks, I mean, it's hard to show on the overhead, of course, but in person, it just looks like a beautiful glowing cactus. Yeah. Okay. And then the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, our team, and this blue cat is... <laughs> is the Feather TFT ESP32 S3. Um, I, I, we have a much loved ESP32 S2 TFT. Uh, swap out the module with the new S3 4 megabyte flash, 2 megabyte PS RAM, and boom, um, you've got a lovely two core, uh, 240 megahertz Tensilica chip with 4 megabytes of flash, 2 megabytes of PS RAM. It's got Wi Fi and it's got Bluetooth, and you've got that TFT, um, Stemic UT port, battery powerable, battery monitor built in. Um, you know, low power capable. You can turn off the I squared C port even. It's just a uh, altogether a wonderful little board, and I think it's going to be uh, super fun and powerful, especially for people who want Bluetooth, or they need two cores because um, you get, of course, the the extra power. Uh, so here's just a, a quick Arduino demo running. Um, of course, it's Feather compatible. It's got all the pins you'd expect, so you can use it with your fir Firth. Uh, sensor featherwing, if you'd like. Um, you've got the reset button and boot button, Stemic UT port, uh, this vertical style. So if you want to uh, plug in, hold on. Always get it in backwards. Hold on. I want to line it up. Boom. Uh, you can plug in um, more sensors, and you'll notice as I plug in this sensor, uh, it shows up on the I squared C scan. So you disappeared and then it reappears. Uh, battery monitoring um, using the LC709203, which is a really nice low power battery monitor. We use that because the ESP32 doesn't have a very linear ADC, so having external sensor do it is a good idea. Um, it's a little module with built in antenna, so you get really good um, Wi Fi and Bluetooth support. And I think this will be uh, great for use with Arduino or CircuitPython, especially that two megabytes of PS RAM. Um, makes it a very good circuit Python board. You have a lot of memory um, and uh, it means that you can get Wi-Fi data, do a lot of JSON parsing, uh, control LED matrices, control NeoPixels, 
um, control TFT displays. The S3 is a very powerful and a lot of cool peripherals that you're going to see uh, coming out for it. And that is new products.